This is a demonstration of the user module of CAD Master's Standards Manager software. The purpose of this demonstration is to show you how your users will use Standards Manager to draft and design in a clean, consistent manner. To begin with, let's take a look at the, this PDF of a structural detail. Now you could probably find 10 very skilled drafts people and ask them each to draft this detail. And chances are that each user will dra draw the detail well. But what is the likelihood that they will all use the same layer names, layer colors, dimension styles, textiles, etc.? Obviously, there's little chance of that. No two, no two details will be the same. And that's where standards come in. We need to provide these 10 users with guidance on which layers, textiles, and dimension styles to use. So let's go ahead and get started. So now in order to draw this detail, I first need to create the layers. Standards Manager tools can be accessed via a pull-down menu, which you see here, a toolbar, which you'll see here, and then also you may use production palettes, which you'll find over to the right here, tool palettes in AutoCAD. So let's go ahead and create the layers that I want to use for drafting this detail, and we'll use the Standards Manager tools to do that. The discipline will be structural, and I'll go ahead and do it by layer group, and I'll choose the detail layers, which you'll see here. Notice that the detail layers all have uh, pre-assigned colors, line types, line weights, etc. This is all preset by the CAD manager in the administration module, which we'll take a look at later. So let's go ahead and create uh, slash update these uh, these layers. So now with those layers in the drawing, I can go ahead and place these objects on the uh, the the correct layers. This will be the foundation layer. This will be the framing layer. And then maybe the uh, the cross marks inside the framing members. I'd like to put on a uh, a lighter layer. Okay, so the uh, the layers uh, uh, are now in, and I've placed the objects on the uh, the, the correct layers. Uh, the next step will be to insert some of the symbology. I'd like to insert symbols for the plywood subfloor in the detail, the the bottom plate and the foundation rebar. So I'll go ahead and do this again. Uh, this time I'll go ahead and use the, uh, the toolbar symbols. And I'll choose the, uh, the plywood here. Looks good. Then I'll insert the uh, bottom plate. Standards Manager supports dynamic blocks this bottom plate is a dynamic block. I'll go ahead and click on it and from the drop down I'll choose a 2x6 member and it'll resize for me automatically. Then the last thing I want to insert is uh, some rebar for the foundation and I'll use my production palette to do that. This is also a dynamic block and maybe I'll switch to a, uh, a number 5 bar for the foundation. Okay. So there you get the uh, you get the idea. So the next step will be to add some annotation for my detail. Go ahead and select the correct layer first. And the first thing I want to do is lay in some dimensions that show the uh, the size of the uh, the grade beam. So I'll go to uh, dimension styles, load dimensions, and. Uh, for structural general, I'll choose three quarter of, a, uh, of an inch is equal to a foot. We could also do annotative, the new annotative feature in AutoCAD 2008. Load set current, and now I can go ahead and place a detail for my uh, for my foundation. The uh, settings for the dimension style, everything from the size of the text to the size of the arrow is set inside the dimension style which I've just loaded. All right. So now I'd like to go ahead and lay in some uh, some text. 
So I'll create a textile. And then with that textile current, I can go ahead and lay in my text. Looks good. Okay, and then the last thing I want to do is I'd like to insert in a, uh, a, a, a detail title mark down at the bottom of the detail. So I'll just go back to my symbology to do that. Okay, great. And this is also a dynamic block. Again, Standards Manager supports uh, dynamic blocks uh, just fine. All right. So that completes our detail, uh, at least for uh, at least for this uh, demonstration. Hopefully, you saw how simple it was to use the tools in the user module, user module, the pull down menu, the toolbar, and the tool palettes. It's not very difficult to use these tools, and that's the intent. Now certainly the standards that we just used were created by someone and exist somewhere. And we'll discuss that a little later in, a few, in uh, the other demonstrations. We'll look at the administration module to learn how to create and maintain the standards. Lastly, you may ask the question, well, how is this really different from using templates, blocks, or even Design Center? And the key is that with Standards Manager, we have a central point of administration for creation and editing of the standards we can instantly and seamlessly push out the standards from that central point of administration. The resulting automation is a much more efficient process than using templates, blocks, and design center. So please see the other demonstrations on the user module, on the administration module, to see this automation in action. Thank you.